This is a new old stock Packard Bell color CQ953R. And this is another set that we picked up from a, a uh, Packard Bell Teledyne distributor some time back. And this is a little bit older. This is probably a late 60s vintage set. This one actually looks like it's a remote set if you look at the, down at the bottom there. Uh, here, pull that back up. If you look at the bottom, you'll, you'll see the little sound microphone and the light there for the remote sensor down there. And so we got some controls here. And we got the old school Packard Bell. And we'll take a quick look at the inside. I don't know, I don't believe this is a hybrid set. I believe this is an all tube. Okay, this is a 98C18. And Teledyne Packard Bell, much like RCA, had their own kind of model numbering thing which went started with 98 C for color and it kind of progressed as time went on this is a hybrid set it has a solid state IF and it does have the remote control option right there is the remote receiver and this stand up chassis here contains all the color demodulation and um, video stuff. You can see the delay line. Here's the horizontal output. You can see it's got lockouts here because it's a remote set so you can turn these and it'll skip over the channels that weren't active in your area. That right there, that electrolytic, this is part of the ICP degaussing circuit. That's the electrolytic that you basically charge up as to degauss the set. Alright, we'll fire it up and give you a demonstration. This is, look at that, 6840. This is new old stock. It's a little dusty, but it's pretty much a zero hour set. Okay, here are two remote controls. I believe this one right here is probably the rem ultrasonic remote for this TV. We will now perform a brute force reform of the electrolytic capacitors. Again, these sets being new old stock, this set being new old stock, it has not had a full setup adjusting everything like would have been done in the home when it was delivered and initially set up. So it's just got the kind of crude factory baseline setup on all the uh, controls, and the red looks a little weak, although I do see red there. Okay, we're going to hit the ICP, which is a degaussing. You you hold it down until it hold it down until it stops. Which the capacitor is probably slightly leaky, so it's not there. It's going away. That's good. Instead of automatic degaussing, these had manual. 